Boss, are you okay? So the vocal cord parasites that have infected Mother Base. They're ethnic cleansers designed to silence those who don't fit into Skullface's worldview. We can't allow him to have such power. Go over the mission details and get going ASAP. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinister Channel 1, and welcome back to more Metal Gear Solid 5. This is a very special mission. This is mission number 29. And a lot, a lot of you know out there that there has been a very, very severe bug on this mission. That if you use quiet on this mission and another mission, which I'll get to, I think it's mission 42 or... I'm not sure. I know it's mission 29. Um, however, that bug has not been fixed, but they were able to pinpoint the reason of how to get around the bug. So obviously the bug is if you use quiet on this mission and your bond level is at 100% or you're getting her bond level to 100% during the course of the mission, then uh, you could lose all your save progress. So they recommend you uh, not using quiet or just you can use her, just make sure your bond isn't at 100%. So just so I could bypass everything because I don't want anything to screw up, we're not going to use her on this mission whatsoever, but we're going to use someone that we really haven't used before, and I think you're going to enjoy. Here we go. Boss, you okay? There's an unusual mist in front of your chopper. It could be the same one as before. Cypher is trying to eliminate Code Talker, but we can't save the infected without him. Boss, whatever you do, bring Code Talker back alive. Alright, so there's the mission briefing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into development, buddy equipment. Please specify a project. That is right. We're going to be using D Walker. And I don't know if... I'm trying to think uh, what we're going to be able to use. Ah. 29. Oh, so I don't even know if we can actually use D Walker. Yeah, we might actually have to go into the. Let's see. Because we've lost the ability to upgrade a lot of things because of what's. Obviously, what's been happening, right? So trying to figure out what I'm going to do here uh, so that we can do this properly. Okay, yeah, I think we just Please go into the mission. Select a mission. And then select buddy. You can see that each one of those only has a. Uh, <laughs> we haven't been using. We've only been using them. We've only been using D Walker as a non-lethal, and we don't need. We don't need him to be uh, non-lethal. We need him Clouds to be lethal. Approaching. So because of this, we're going to try to see if we can do that, which I don't think we can. Please specify a project. Alright, I, I can't remember exactly. I think it's in Customize. Buddy Equipment. There we go. D Walker. I knew it was somewhere. Alright, so we gotta change... Main Weapon. Here we go. So we got a Gatling Gun. We've got... Holy crap. Flamethrower. We're just gonna use the Gatling Gun. Secondary. Head support. All right. What do we want to go for? Yeah, we'll use this one. All right, so now we are ready to go. That is setting one. Sweet. Clouds approaching. All right, so here we go. We're finally going to get into the mission here. Hopefully, you guys Please will enjoy. This is mission twenty-nine. All right, looks like he's got the uh, the proper settings on. Uh, we're going to give Snake a little bit of an upgrade here as well. We're going to give him the battle dress, even though we have never used it. 
we're not going off against regular enemies. We're going off against some uh, some crazy, crazy enemies here. I don't want to spoil anything, but um, yeah. So we got the battle dress. We got that. We could probably even bring a tank if we wanted to, but uh, it pretty much tells you what we need to do. It says right there, defeat the skulls. So I guess it's not really ruining anything. Um, let's go ahead and get some different equipment for ourselves as well. Uh, the only thing is I'm afraid that if I do use this that I might injure some other people that might be around. I don't know if we're ever even going to need any of this. So we'll just stick to the damaged sniper. I'm sure we're going to be okay. Support weapons, we got plenty of C4 and decoys. Alright, I think we're ready to go. So without further ado, there's going to be... Um, obviously this is going to be a very story related mission. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Sit back, relax and let the story just... Finally, we get some good cutscenes in this one, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, without further ado, it's go time. This is mission number 29, Metallic Arcrea, and we're going to do this during the day because it really doesn't matter. Deploying. like you're surrounded by mist. The support chopper can't get close to your position right now. Hurry! They are coming!
are their quarry. Got him. One more. Gotcha. Boss. That mist is clearing. Great work, boss. I'm coming in on another chopper. Too bad we can't get them up yet. Oh. has been updated. All right, so clearly, you know, if using the D-Walker, <laughs> I think you'd probably want to use the D-Walker than, uh, than, uh, quiet on this mission anyways. Let's get as many soldiers up as we can. I don't think we're hurting for time, so let's let's go ahead and pick all these uh, He's coming too. Roger that. soldiers up. You gotta extract him. I don't see any more. There could be more. I think I'll spend more time collecting these soldiers than uh, anything else. But you might as well, we need to build Mother Base back up big time, so. Why wouldn't I do this? Be an idiot not to collect all of this crap. Oh my gosh, there's even more over here. Wow, this is like a farming uh, episode here, man. You can pick up so much loot and stuff. Subject on board. Leave the rest of us. Well, you can only pick up as much as uh, you have. be the last of it and then we will go ahead and depart so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys obviously we didn't want to use quiet we probably could have since we don't have our bond level to 100% but I didn't want to risk the chance I'm ready to go I'm sure there's still more stuff that we could do in here but I do believe there's probably going to be some, some cool cutscenes after this, so I want to go ahead and experience that too in this video. Not make it too long for you guys. It's such a shame, though, that we lost our uh, our good friend, Pequod Man himself. Get in, boss. The three out of four tasks too, so there's still one other task I guess we could have done. Extraction arrived at Mother Base.
tell stories about this one, boss. All right, ladies and gents, well, there you go. Hopefully, oh, sweet, codename Foxhound. So I, I'm still kind of uh, wondering what are the codenames and what do they mean? Like I've had codenames where I've got really, really amazing S rank scores and it's been like a different name than Foxhound. So I, I really would like to know in the comments below what you guys think of that. What um, what dictates what type of emblem that you get or code name you get at the end of the level. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and enjoy the cutscenes. Peace out. Bitches! Ah, oh, we got no hits taken on that too. That's pretty cool. Golfus is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enriched the uranium it, loaded onto all-terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere, Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. A fail-safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Nukes. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. teams have come up with a proposal for a new suit that applies Code Talker's research, the Parasite Suit. Apparently, it can recreate some of the Skull's unusual abilities. But in order to use those abilities, it needs Parasites. If you want to wear this suit, you're gonna need to get a hold of Parasites by extracting Skulls. to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, 
What's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Volbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. We must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Again with a truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> Metallic Archaea. Sohilanthropus. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sahelanthropus is the final piece. What are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skull Face is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and zeroes. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sohilanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. KB-0, 
Selanthropus is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB-0. That's where he'll activate Sahalanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. 